Hi, I'm Robert Saunders, an academic with research interests in the molecular genetics of DNA damage repair and its relationship to ageing, for which I use the fruit fly as a model system. Welcome to the School of Life, Health and Chemical Sciences, one of the six constituent schools of the Faculty of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Our school delivers curriculum in the broad areas of chemistry, biology and health sciences through degrees in natural sciences and health sciences and also through a taught master's programme. We also conduct research in a variety of areas from genetics through cell biology to materials chemistry and offer a postgraduate research programme. Our research is externally funded by a variety of agencies including research councils, research charities and commercial sponsorship. We're particularly proud of our long-standing relationship with companies in biomedical research and in materials chemistry. Research in our school is facilitated by our modern high-spec laboratories. This is one of our open-plan labs in which a wide variety of molecular biology and biochemical work takes place. For example, we conduct biomedical research in biopharmaceuticals, into Alzheimer's and other brain disorders, the function of the blood-brain barrier, which insulates the brain from the circulating blood system, and how we can direct drugs across this barrier using nanoparticles, the use of nanoparticles to target cancer cells, and the biochemical basis of tumour formation. And we study the normal and abnormal function of heart cells. Our research also includes the use of simpler model organisms, such as the fruit flies I mentioned earlier, to address issues such as infection and ageing. Other research includes projects in behavioural neuroscience and in autism. This lab is fully equipped with a variety of instruments, including centrifuges and analytical instruments such as plate readers. Much of the work conducted in this lab begins in the cell culture labs or other facilities and continues in the electron microscope or light microscopy suites. In this lab, we synthesise novel materials and compounds such as those for use in drug delivery agents in the pharmaceutical industry and silica-based compounds to enable coatings with specific characteristics such as water resistance. In the analytical lab, we identify the compounds we've synthesised and their structures and ensure the purity of these compounds before further research can be undertaken. We have excellent specialist facilities, including several cell culture laboratories, a high-quality electron microscopy suite, including transmission and scanning electron microscopes, which are used not only for analysis of biological samples, but samples of the novel materials synthesised in the chemistry labs. In our imaging suite, we have conventional fluorescence and confocal microscopy, technologies which enable direct and detailed resolution of structures within cells. We are proud that our teaching is informed by our research, particularly our focus on teaching practical skills through both hands-on experience, but also novel online practical teaching. The new teaching labs will enable not only face-to-face -face practical training, but live labcasts broadcast to our students online from this specialist lab kitted out for the purpose, and online virtual laboratories. Exciting new developments include remote experimentation. Here, for example, is a scanning electron microscope capable of remote operation by students. In this case, we see a fruit fly at various magnifications. Several other instruments can be used in a similar fashion for chemical and biochemical experiments. In addition, several modules include biological fieldwork, including work on predator-prey relationships, population genetics of snails, and pollination. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to some of our research facilities, our research work and how these contribute to our curriculum. Our web pages contain further information and introductions to our academics and other researchers.